Hey everybody, Cash Baggins here with AFK Adventures Part 3, Episode 5, Tracker, Data Collection Tool. This week's episode includes content from October 6th to October 12th. The content for this episode will include a glimpse into my week, the core content, a review of the data collection tool, some quick gameplay highlights, and wrapping up with this week's results and haiku. Now, the slice of life. I'm also going to play the gameplay highlights while I go over this because there's really nothing exciting that happens. This week in Pool League, my team, the Young Guns, played against a team named This Is What We Do, and, well, they didn't lie. I played against Lisa, who I guess is in her 50s or 60s. We were both skill level 3. I was playing okay, but Lisa was cool, calm, and collected, and won two in a row in our race to two racks. Lisa actually had to double up, play two games, and ended up sweeping my teammate, which sucks, but made me feel a little better. I also spent some time on the weekend helping my girlfriend seal her floors. That's a fun task I'd recommend to anyone who's thinking about it. Go ahead, give it a try. Unless you have inlays or parquet flooring, then maybe hire a professional. Okay, on to the data collection tool. I'll try to be quick, but I'm going to go over almost all of its functionality. Let's go over the motivation first. As I play games, I'm always interested in tracking progress. I used to play a lot of RuneScape, and I loved having Crystal Math Labs as a way to see my EXP gains. Or, when I played WoW, the Auction House add-on showing gold over time was something I really enjoyed. There isn't anything like that for Dark and Darker, so I decided to create one. Unfortunately, it's not automatic like the Auction House add-ons in WoW, but since I love data, I don't mind taking a little bit of extra time to see my numbers. Let's talk about basic functionality. Here at the top, we have some stats. In the first row, from left to right, we have currently selected characters gold, all characters gold. Then the next four are all gold in the last 24 hours, three hours, one hour, and half hour. The second row tells me how much the currently selected character has listed and how much all the listings across my characters would be worth if they sell. Below that, we have active characters listings, Next, we get into some data entry, which is used either before or after each run. The first two widgets are for vendoring dungeon loot and selling treasure to the collector. When I finish a run, if I need to do either of those things, I'll enter how much gold I got from them and click the button. Next is for purchasing specific things. I have widgets for healing potions, bandages, and luck pots here. Pretty simple. Select your number, then click the button. Next is the most used part of the app, the gambling section. First, I have a selection widget with a pill for all of the items I've purchased so far. After that, when you've purchased an item and seen its rarity, you can select the rarity in the next selection widget. This information is confirmed in the text below. When everything is selected, I press confirm gamble. By the way, all of these buttons are saving outputs to some files. Next, tools for recording other expenses and making listings. For spending, I select my category and enter how much I spent. For kits, it lets me create a new kit ID so I can track outcomes attached to a given kit. We'll revisit this when I go over the run tracking. For making listings, I select my category, enter a price, and click list item, which lists the item and creates a record of what I've listed. For gambled items, I can select which of the previously purchased items I'm listing, which will then will be removed from the list. Finally, I have some miscellaneous functionalities. One for vendoring gamble items, mostly poor rarity items. I can also record income from quests and audit my character's total gold for cases where the count has gotten off. In the sidebar, I have the ability to switch characters, run some various data aggregation scripts, and get sold listings, which gets listings that have been sold and updates the data. I've also added the ability to cancel a listing and enter my goblin merchant discount recently. Skipping over the population chart tab, which is just the player population over time, the next tab I have shows gold over time with some date selection widgets. And finally, there's the run tracking tab, which is relatively new and also pretty unused since I don't really play the game. But the concept is when you're starting to get ready before buying potions, bandages, or kits, I enter preparation. Then any transactions recorded in the data entry tab can be associated to the run. When I queue up, I change the phase, and same when the game starts. When I die or extract, I click post run actions. When I left my extraction, I'm in the post run actions phase and any sales to vendors or the collector as well as any listings I make will be associated to the run. Of course, I'm recording these in the app, so it doesn't actually have to be happening alongside of where I'm at in the game. 
When I finish doing all that stuff, I click end run, make sure the maps, game type, queue type are all updated. I've defined some run goals, which I'm hoping to test out the profitability of when I start playing more. I record my kit's luck, say if I killed any bosses or hit any treasure piles, record whether or not I ran into any players, and finally whether I died or extracted. I also make sure I select the kit I ran, which helps determine if the kit was profitable or not. That's about it. There's a lot of functionality I'm still ironing out, but I'm hoping it'll allow me to get some good data to share with you all. Let's get into results. Here's my daily gambling for the week. A slow start with a strong end. About one legendary a day. Gambling income seems proportional to volume, with a peak at 8k for a day. Overall net income is a bit lower, but mostly positive. Where'd the money come from? Trappin' was actually the highest net income category this week, followed by gambling. Then, from the little bit of playing I did, I made some money from crafting, dungeon loot, and the collector. I lost money on kits, as always, listing fees, stash expansions, and coin purses, and bought some mystical gems which go in the run utilities category. Finally, I made it to 85,332 gold this week. Onwards to the haiku. So this is a haiku that actually was in an AFK Adventures Part 2 episode, but I can't help but repeat it now because it's so fitting for the subject matter at hand. Here we go. Enter the data. I like to keep track of it. It's a collection. I have all sorts of data collections. Doesn't matter what it is. I got a pool spreadsheet. I've tracked my gas forever. Whatever, there's lots of them. But it's cool to finally have a data collection that I'm doing something with. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you like the data collection tool and want it to be public, tell me what you'd like to see in one. I'd be curious to know what you guys are looking for. Have a good one. Till next time.